it's yeah. just all over the world. But it's like to basically say that like if it if it displays these values or whatever, that means you can't watch it. Christians shouldn't watch it. It's gonna cause you to stumble, or in some extreme cases, cause someone to like lose their salvation. I think yeah. it's. Sort of, I don't know. I think it's an annoying stance, but right. But I think that's yeah. why. You no, know, your channel, my channel. I think that's why it's here. Just for it to be like, hey, like mm. this is as bad as it you as you think it needs to be. Like I think there's some middle ground that you could come to, and and in some way you could pull some really good things out of it. I think. Mm. Uh, referred to um uh, c.s lewis's chronicles of narnia and uh the yeah. where they take these like these concepts of like these magical beings and you know mm. you know all these different things and, and they use them to point people to the grander story and i think uh my, my motto in that is just like hey like this is what it's supposed to be like viewing these anime or viewing these stories in a, in a bigger picture and saying like hey like it's, it's it's bigger than this it's supposed to point you to the true story even if it does have some like really crazy elements in it, in it it's kind of it's kind of wild but um yeah yeah uh let me let me what are some i guess we can answer this answer this question before my for my last one um how do you feel about anime and manga being more successful than western entertainment yeah um so okay from from my perspective as well like yeah base base that is like it's it's complete japanese it's complete anime manga supremacy over western entertainment so i think it's very very base um and i love it that um you know again like speaking from my uh younger self yeah my my younger self would definitely say look how look at all the western media currently failing look around you and now mm -hmm. anime is finally is finally being recognized for how good it is um and i think it it is a testament as well to to see that there's a lot of people who are apolitical um they did used to watch western entertainment they recognize now it's pretty bad so now they're looking to anime and again speaking to that which is it's unhelpful when conservatives say oh that's that's really really uh demonic right because uh, a, a lot of those people who are transitioning away from western entertainment are looking to anime because that's where all the good stories are and that's where all the yeah. um really uh meaningful really uplifting stories are um unlike in a lot of western media which is just um trash right now uh there are there are pretty good there, there are pretty good stories um but yeah there's there's a lot which i i refuse to watch <laughs> a lot of western media now um so yeah there's there's that uh so yeah yeah, yeah. uh when i first heard about the plot of demon slayer the whole sister being a demon did seem sus to me i did watch a bit of it a bit of the show yeah no like i i i i get that but the the plot of the show really is about tanjiro trying to save his sister from uh uh and defeating the upper rank demons to heal his sister that's sort of the whole plot like i think yeah, yeah. The, the reason why th like this thing that why, De why uh, tanjiro wanted to become a demon slayer was to save his sister um so i think you know, it, looking at it from the from the surface, you're just watching the first episode or first couple of episodes. It's like, oh, like this is kind of weird. Why would his sister turn into a demon? And obviously, the de like his sister is helping him defeat the upper the upper rank demons, which means there's some sort of like, uh, you know, she also wants to be saved too. Like I don't think she wants to be a demon, right? I, I don't know if there's some sort of consciousness that is there, you know, with um, Tanjiro's sister, but like the whole plot of it is to for it to save his sister and. Um, mm -hmm. You know, save her from being a demon. Um, so, it, it, if you are have start, if you started watching it, you should probably watch a little bit more because it gets it's really good. Now, on, the the plot is it's not it's not the greatest, right? It's not it's gonna like blow you away. Animation is great, and I, I think I have to stand on that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I have heard a lot about Demon Slayer as well. Um, and okay, this is the perfect example of why why we as Christians and uh, why conservatives shouldn't overreact. It's because when we hear stuff like, oh, what? There's there's demons in this. Oh, my goodness. It's, it must be bad. No, maybe maybe if you watch the show, you you would actually know um, how, uh, like, you would actually know the context that they're actually trying to dis destroy the demons. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's that level of which, like, yeah, you we really should, we shouldn't be like the cancel culture mob, right? We mm -hmm. should actually think about the claims that are being circulated. Um, and we should actually think about these things quite critically, um, or else, yeah, we're, we're when we when there's that rhetoric which we do say, um, we do need to be aware of the stuff that we say uh, because it will uh, other people will look at us and say, "Wow, 
that's a bit wacky. Yeah. Maybe I won't hang out with those guys. Um, and that's not to say that there, there is a time and place where we should be um, speaking the truth. And there, there is a time and place where we as Christians should be, you know, um, pushing out our agenda. But on these issues like um, Demon Slayer, where we, we get, get all up to you about it, um, then yeah, it's just not helpful in that discourse. And it's not helping us to uh, go and outreach to those people. So yeah. 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 What I, what I find, what I find interesting is that like a lot of our, our at least Christian culture uh, is, it's just like a lot of, it's just isolation, right? It's like, Hey, we are now mm. saved. We now know Jesus. We've been saved from mm. the things that we used to do. And now we're saved to greater things in, in, in Christ. Mm. Now we're going to isolate from the rest of the world and not, and not necessarily engage with it, but it's just like the opposite for, for us, right, where it's like Jesus tells us to go out into the world and to uh, preach the good news of the gospel and, ma and make disciples. It's like you like and you're supposed to be salt and light. It's like how that's how you, you necessarily do that if you're trying to cancel everything. All uh, right. Mm -hmm. like, like I think kind of thinking uh, thinking about this connection point for, you know, this for this for different enemy. Right. And I'll just use Demon Slayer Slayer as an example where it's like, hey, you have Demon Slayer and like, you, you know, you might have friends that like Demon Slayer. Right. But. Do you I, you you blow up that bridge in a sense if you just say like hey you know demon slayer has demons in it so I'm not gonna watch it it's like you kind of think you kind of think a little bit right I don't I don't I don't think our faith is just like it's not you don't have you you can think about you can think about our faith and how to like uh uh engage with the culture in a way that's not gonna be disrespectful but also is going to connect with the people that are that you're trying to reach right so I think there are creative ways to be able to do that. Um, not just blow it up and say that it's, it's very demonic. Anyway.